All right, people, welcome back to some more vitamin Y. So, of course, today is Friday. That means we're using Supervise. And, uh, you know, I recorded day ahead, so it's actually the first that I'm recording this. So, first of 2015, which means, of course, Dion updated with the new band list. So, time to face Supervise. This should be fun. I mean, Supervise, hello? What the fuck is wrong with me? Yes, I have to face Supervise. Fuck, in my life, I'm using it, but I have to face it. God damn it. You know what I meant? It's not still. The other S one. <laughs> so let's see if my opponent goes ahead and snatch steals the shit out of me. This should be interesting. <laughs> At the least. Wow. Sounds really repetitive. I wonder if my next dark card that I draw is Simon Doom. Is, it, is there a pad in here? <laughs> ah, hello? Alright, so, like usual, supervise. Get set up and, you know, do your plays. You know? Not very complicated, you know, deck, is it? Wow, no. Another Dark Graffer. Oh, all three Dark Graffers. You know, we run, we run the Dark Graffers for consistency means. But, uh, you know, once we get everybody set up, it's all good to go. You know, sometimes we draw it, sometimes we don't. So, you know, the way that my rotas are not looking so hot, to tell you the truth. You know, what I got? One Armageddon Knight, and I dropped Butter Spy down to two. I think. Yeah, I did. So, there you go. Those are all three of my rotas right there. Not looking so hot. Was this Marmouse? Yeah, it's Marmouse. Say, so, seeing a Gen X controller, it's kind of like, ooh, all right, Gen X controller. Are we gonna see some Mermel action? And it's not a lot of decks that you see Gen X controller. All right, well, of course, Mermels are back. You know, Gundwin back up to three. So, you know, let's see her. Let's see the strength of Marmels again. I said you hit Marmels. You are just skipping shit. I'm just totally just skipping things, but that's fine. Well, there's one Undyne. I mean Gun. Gun went to three. Why am I saying Undyne? Hello? Gun went to three. It's weird, you know? I guess they were just like, thinking that it was just like Wolf Bart. We're gonna go ahead and put, uh, you know, gun down. They bring it right back up. So, no, interesting. Like I said we'll see. I want to see Marmels do well again because they were a really good deck. You know, they didn't even get rem they didn't even get removed off with daily duels because they were bad. You know, we just wanted to try something new. So, you know, this guy is all up in his deck. Like, I get it. Get your goddamn Megalo. Oh, you're getting infantry. Alright. And I said, I didn't open up the hand well enough to face against this Mero guy. He's he's gonna outpace me. No, my deck isn't the fastest deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, so... Well, that's nice. All, all I need is send this Tinker, but I said, I'm not gonna survive to that long. No. Yeah. You know, if I could survive to this long, long enough to even play the shit, then we might be okay. But uh, I'm just not sure if we're gonna make it reach up to that speed, that velocity that this deck needs in time. So, ah, <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. I, I mean, who's the biggest threat here? That's the biggest threat here. It's Pike. You know, I don't really care about any rank 3 Xyz. But you can go ahead and synchro summon with the shift controller and go into a 7, but you can go into a 6, which would be Goya Guardian. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's scarier. I'd say the Goya Guardian is scarier. That's because I don't want, really want him to take a launcher. See any 7 that he makes? You know, Lapros, alright, blow your own shit up. Uh, Yazi, I can handle that. You know, I'm trying to think of all the 7s. Wonder if he's running clearing. Another abyss fair. Damn. That's another card too. Like they always get abyss fair too. <laughs> when dueling against Mermels. Like, damn, like Hello, the card's at three, not at fucking twenty. Cause it's, I see that card all the time. But Mermels don't run back row. They don't run any back row. So, you know, literally their only back row really is Abyss Fears. Maybe you know, toss some MSTs back there, which I probably think that's what the other card is. You know? So I think that might be it. I think I got outpaced. I'm gonna get crushed. 
by the water, by the waves. I said I was ready. I had one more turn, I could have done something, but. The Mermel's almost back at full strength, but they're strong enough, you know. They're back at the strength they were before they warranted, uh, you know, gun getting hit down to one, so. Oh. There's a. Diva. You know, that's more than enough to end this door. You don't even need to sink. Oh, Dwarren. Isn't he also at one? Sometimes I forget about that. Yep. 14, 16, 15, 2000. That's it. You whooped my ass. No surprise there. You completely outpaced me. You know? Completely. <laughs> I'm not even the same fucking tier as you, you know? You're, you're, you're tier, you know, two. You're up there, you know? You know, if you open up well enough and fast enough, you can you can maybe compete against the meta. Shit. You think I'm going to take this evil back and try to compete against the meta? No, definitely not. No. So, I respect Mermels. No, I respect that deck. It's just, I, I, I just don't understand Konami. All right, now I need some senders. Like, like can we can we get can we get like half and half here? Like that's that's what's wrong with super vibe. You know, you need a little bit of each. You need a little bit of ascending and then a little bit of revival to be okay. And then when you get all of one and none of the other, then the deck just falls apart. So please let me draw a dark refer. Draw you know, I drew two dark graphers. Last duel. What is it, shells? Or bearing and base? I said it's either one, I'm just gonna go ahead and be done with it, because I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I wanna get a I wanna get a duel in it and actually play, you know? You know. I dueled the Mermel guy because I respect him. I knew I was gonna get the shit kicked out of me, but I respect Mermel, so that's why I finished the duel. But I can't. I I, I can't. I This game is too fast. I, I, I slowly feel like this is a, this is what freaking Flyman Y is gonna amount to. Just be doing duels that I clearly cannot compete against. <sighs> no, no, it is just not on the level of Shadows. Not at all. Not even close. I wouldn't say my deck sucks. You know. Definitely not, you know? Supervise? I mean, I could kick your butt with Supervise, but, you know, in comparison to yours? I mean, I guess so, you know? But that's just the... Uh, uh, no, no, I don't want to. It's not the point, you know? This isn't vibe and why, let me use the best deck to make me feel good about myself. That's not the point. <laughs> you know? It's not the point. You know, if I wanted to use Burning Abyss or Klee, I would just use those in Bailey Duels. Here in Vibe and Y, I want to use different Ubel decks. And clearly, depending on what my opponent uses, I just can't. I can't keep up. And, you know, it kind of makes me sad because, you know, I would totally love to just, you know, do really do really well in the duel. Have a good duel, but, you know, if I know I'm just going to get outpaced and completely crushed. Oh, I hate Bujin bitches, but maybe... Maybe he didn't get Yamato, so maybe I can do something. You know, so I won't be completely out out bed right now. No, no Yamato no Tenki, it seems. <sighs> maybe I can do something. I'm getting arrival. Oh, there's some arrival. Of course, I drew Doom Shaman again. Jorageki, though, I'm thinking about just pitching the Regeki to tell you the truth. <sighs> so this goddamn hair is going to be a problem, especially if it gets the Yamato in the future. He's just going to block me, then, you know, simply just, you know, go off with his plays. I'm always going to be a step behind. All he has to do is just keep dropping the hair, keep dropping the hair, keep blocking me, keep blocking I mean, eventually he's going to run out of hair. The problem is that I just don't know how I'm going to pull that off. So. Uh, I got I gotta commit to the play. What? No. I'll pay the cost. 
Yeah, I wish I wish I didn't draw Demon Shaman because I'm really afraid that if I summon my Dark Breath, I'm gonna get bottomless. But it seems like everything's going okay right now. You know, drawing Doom Shaman in this deck is the worst thing. You know, in this deck, I'd rather draw you Bell than draw Doom Shaman. So you know, that's two duels on a row that I drew a Doom Shaman. You know, there's a lot of factors for the reason why I'm not doing so hot here on uh, the channel. I'm just gonna turn into an ultimate nightmare. I'm gonna get aggressive with it. Response. No, I got. I got to push. Effect. Yeah. Especially against Bujins, I got to push. I got to. Go ahead. Magical cylinder. So he's gonna try to burn me. And I get the lance. You know, I understand the lance with Bujin bitches, but like, really? Magical cylinder. Not a big fan of that card. <sighs> so he can summon Yamato, he can add a crane, but also Night Roar keep eating you. Yeah. The only problem with that is all he has to do is just attack, block with crane I mean you know, block with hair, and then, you know, summon another one XC, but it seems like he's not getting the right cards. You know? So that means that I may be able to push. Which would be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to push. Oh nice. I'm I might be able to freaking put in some work actually. All right, so you guys might actually see, get to see the strength of Super Vice right now. That's nice. Unless, he, of course, he has Effect Railer, which if he had Effect Railer, he would have used it a long time ago. So. Sure. All right, I guess he knows what's going to happen. We'll try to get one more duel in. Oh, I want a good duel. I don't care about winning. I don't care about losing. I want a good duel. You know? That's, that's what Vitamin Y is all about. You know, it's not about winning with a Ubel deck. It's not about showing them how powerful a Ubel deck is. No, you know, I'm not that big of myself. You know, I lose, I lose, but I want a good duel. You know, I want to see what you can do. I want to see what I can do. I want to see when the strength that I get with various Ubel decks and have fun. But, you know, well, my opponent just didn't have it, and sometimes I can't keep up with my opponent. You know, and that's the thing. I clearly cannot keep up with any of the top tier deck, so that's, that's, that's evident. And not even tier 2, really. Even tier 2 can easily beat me. But, you know, what's tier 1 today, maybe tier 2 tomorrow, and then the new tier 1 steps up, eventually, there's going to be so many more powerful decks that literally Vitamin Y will have to end, because I won't be able to keep up. Which is a interesting thought to think about, where, you know, unless I, unless I duel against an absolute scrub noob who doesn't even know how to play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm absolutely going to lose, you know? Oh, maybe one day, you know, Klee puts and fucking and Burning Best will get hit so bad and so hard that, you know, they won't even be top tier, but people will still use them and then I'll come across them one day and get my butt still kicked, my butt kicked because, you know, even if they got hit and not top tier because the new shit that came out is even stronger than those decks is the top tier shit completely crushes them, they'll still be stronger than me, which means that that top tier stuff that crushes and beats Klee put when they're hit and down, which means that they'll just be even stronger than me still, so, you know. Yeah, something to think about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless I go against an absolute scrub piece of noob, I'd, psh, I just, I'll just never be able to do anything on here. You know, and that definitely sucks. You know? Alright, so this guy that, uh, you can tell me something more about you, especially when I'm with him once Huh. I don't know why you set him. I would have went more aggressive with it, but that's cool. Yeah, all right, black wins. No. That's another deck that got all their shit back, so let me see the strength of them. Also, it's using the new OCG support. Yeah, that's one thing that, that I like about um, uh, Dev Pro and Wideo Pro over at DN. I can just say, you know, I can just click the box TCG only and only do against TCG cards because clearly he's using the OCG cards for black wings because he pretty much has to because black wings aren't doing so hot. You know, they, they have consistency issues, so this guy helps, you know, he's nice. Yeah.
Oh wait, I'm gonna get a nice day. Perfect. The only problem is Blackwings have a problem getting over you, Bell. Definitely. So it's like it, this card can be sent to black wings during the phase of the card in your bed because it's sent there, it can start for a black wing. So that's fine. So I'm getting night right now at 700. You do that just to remember. If you attack me, I'll take 500. <sighs> I was thinking about dropping Tinker, but I thought that dropping you bell and taking a more defensive approach might be better, you know. Also, I had Call the Haunted, so, you know, I can just send it where I summon Terror, I'm again, I would die, Call Hunter, I'm again, I drop Tinker. So, that was the idea, but it didn't, of course, didn't work out like that, so. And you can't do that play anyway. Because this card is a win, you know. The difference between a win and an if, so, clearly, I'm again, that's a win, so, you know. I would miss. It would be like Call the Haunted. Target, you know, you go MST and, I, and then you target my call hunter, I go chain some Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight dies, he's not in the field to resolve, so he doesn't get his drop attack. He's not like Teller Knights. You know, Teller Knights are if I'm gonna to win, so. <laughs> but clearly, when this card is special summon, that means that it's on the field to resolve its effect, which clearly Armageddon Knight isn't. Are you just gonna leave my Armageddon Knight there? I know Gale, I think Gale is permanent, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Gale is permanent, isn't it? Yeah, it is permanent. Oh, I'm a master. Interesting. Can you attack armor again, Knight? Sure, I take. I'm at 700, uh, 1800. I just think about it for a second there. I was like, oh, Naf. Naf! Naf! Well, you can't play Icarus Attack right now. Because I don't have two cards, and nor am I going to play anything, so I'm just going to end my turn. Oh, yeah. I'll give it to you, even though its effect is optional, so you would technically miss, but I'll give it to you. Wish I could take a more aggressive approach against this Blackland guy, especially when he's down on resources. Huh. Hmm, alright, there's... Don't fat. Go ahead. So a Blizzard can summon one of his buckets. I wonder if he runs uh, HTS. Does anybody run HTS anymore? Maybe he's Vulcan. But does anybody run HTS anymore? That's a good question. He runs HTS, he can always ram it into my Bell and banish my Terror. And I'll get Ultimate Nightmare, but he'll get rid of my Bell at least. But the problem is that it has to deal with Ultimate Nightmare. Like I said, Black Wings without Icarus Attack. No. If he wants the Icarus attack, he's gonna have to get rid of his own cards for right now. I'm taking chill. You know, Goyo Guardian ain't gonna do shit. None of his Blackwing tuner, I mean, Syngras aren't gonna do shit, so. He's looking at his extra deck. He is looking. He's like, I need to get something to get rid of that Ubel. And it's like, ah, oh, well, it's your fault. You know, when that Icarus attacked my damn card, no one told you the Icarus attack. You think that you got that Fire Lake going on, but you don't. Because technically, we're even out. You're using one of your Icarus attack and one of your Black Wings, so of course it doesn't float for two of my cards, so it's actually even. Now I don't even have to worry about freaking uh, Icarus attack because you don't got a Black Wing on the field. Uh, and that's chill. Anybody I want to summon? I can go for a one on one. It's not going to be the most useful card against okay, Black Wings. I can just start poking them. Does this have to be summoned in defense mode? 
Oh, well, it might as well be. I mean, it only has, it has zero attack, so it might as well be. I mean, I guess I can go. If I had to swing, uh, supervise, be doing more interesting play. Because it's just going to get wiped by terror anyway. Uh, I'm kind of thinking, do I want to keep the butter slide? No, not really. Effect, here we go. Chain. I feel you, my butter I want to get it out of my hand in case later in the duel I want to go for Void Ogre. Because I know I'm gonna, it's going to be stuck in my hand. So I want to go ahead and get rid of it. So yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and go for 101. 101 is not the most useful card. If he has a D prison, then hey, he has a D prison. So, he has a bottom list, and I'd rather use it on this. So, if not, I'll just start the token. All right, go ahead and detach. Go ahead. All right, Mr. Blackwing guy. Then maybe he, maybe since I committed to something, maybe he wants to commit something with his blizzard. I don't know. Man, where's Dark Hole? I have not seen Dark Hole. No, yeah, it goes up to two. I put it up to two in the deck and I see it again. And number ten, I just like it's not at one anymore. You'll never see it again. Wah ha ha, ha ha ha. Like oh. <laughs> he was looking at that extra deck. He wants something. Yeah. I said one on one's not the most useful thing. But I still have Castell and I still have all my synchros. So. Yeah. On the one on the other hand, you know, I think using it right now, if I can get three pokes out of it with 21, that's not that bad. That's not that bad, three pokes of 21. Yeah, that guy, this guy sitting over here having an epiphany. He's sitting there thinking. Huh. Alright, there's Blizzard. Yep, yep. Maybe summoning with Blizzard. There's a lot of interesting things you could target. If only this guy wasn't a tuner. Oh, nope, he's gonna go for his level 4 guy. Alright. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by spell slash trap effect. That's lame. Maybe it feels like targeted. I guess, like, what? Are you, are you afraid the black rings are gonna get dark hold? Is that it? Alright. You can only special summon black rings once per turn this way. Alright. This is this way. Uh. Oh, that's your searchy birdie. The Raid Raptors, you gotta use Raid Raptors card to fucking help Black Wings with their consistency. That's funny, huh? At level four, Dark Wing Beast monster. Yeah, so that's Black Wings and to a T. Well, level four Black Wings anyway. I mean, level four lower. It's just, nope, level four. Cause it's supposed to be for Raid Raptors, but Black Wings are like, hey, we could use them too. So, I hope you get something out of it. Say, so what are you getting? I really don't understand your play right now. I said, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing, but I just don't see it. Let's add another Icarus attack face down. How are you looking at the extra deck, man? You're taking forever. Just grab yourself a level 4 fucking Dark Wind Beast. It's not that hard. You don't have a lot. It's already three of him, right? Yeah, it's already three of him. So, Soroko. So, uh, no. Shura. Shura. Grab yourself a goddamn Shura. End this charade. 
charade, charade, whatever it is. Hey. <laughs> I should ask Stancy. <laughs> what bar? I, I forgot him too. Sure, some bar. I don't care. Now what? So it seems like you don't have any plays to address the the issue at hand, so you're just playing just to play. That's what it really looks like right now. <sighs> All right, you're gonna sync it up. That's fine. Syncing the six. I don't care. The other black wing guy, or are you actually gonna go into a different sex? Seems like you're just wasting resources at this time. You know, I'm not hitting you for much. Oh, Vulcan, sure. Mm hmm. I was wondering if you had Vulcan. And what you. Alright, what's that? You need to turn on yours too. So you're telling me that Terror has been sitting here giving you a problem this entire duel, yet you wouldn't return frickin' my 101 to me. Why? Why return my 101 to me? That's dumb. Hello, dear. Shut up, Melvin. Recording. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is everybody downstairs, hello? I thought everybody went upstairs and I could record. Oh, broke charge. That's why he's doing what he's doing. I guess. Broke charge to save the day? Really? Oh, you want to sink eight? Is that it? Stop, 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 stop. You can't. You can't special summon blizzard. It says right there, first sentence. Knew there was something wrong there. Talk to anybody else. You can't summon blizzard though. Sure, I'll totally let you take that back. Like really? Like you already committed to the play. Well, I might as well go ahead and play it up while he doesn't have any Black Wings or Urquhart's attack. Pull off my play right now. Go ahead and tell him back to him, Shannon. Please. Up. My normal summon for effect. Effect. I wonder if that's like a D person. If it was D person, he would have hit his, He would have hit my 101, so. Unless he's smart and he knows when, where. Well, no, because you don't really know the plays of my deck. I'm, I'm a mystery. No. Tinker effect. I'm going to go ahead and take the top card. Do I want a dark refer? Uh, no, I'm good. I'll go ahead and just hit you for a thousand. Unless you got that D person. Like I said. You knew the situation you were in, you probably would have used a deep prison on my, uh... I'd, uh... My, uh... My 101. You know, if you're gonna bounce it back to the extra you might as well it, because you clearly saw it as a threat. I, I don't know how you don't not seeing Terra as a threat, but you're clearly seeing 101 as a threat. Like, so, you had to bounce it back with Vulcan. So, he's a soul charge. I don't know what the face down is, nor do I know the card that you're I know he has a soul charge. You can go ahead and play it, though. I might as well play it now because if he doesn't, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip off another three thousand. Then he's only gonna have nineteen. He's only gonna be on some one monster. So he if he's gonna do something, he better play it now. He better play it hard. He better play it his best. Let's see if he plays the soul charge. Summons two makes an Ekaton. Have one two three. I have one two three four. You can make an Ekaton, but bills won't be destroyed and I'll upgrade Terra to an old nightmare. So that's not the best choice. Yeah, and this video is taking a lot longer than I wanted it to because clearly my opponent is. 
fucking having flashbacks. He's literally Crow, and he's like remembering back in the old good old times when he dueled with Yusei. You know, he's just looking at my Yusei pick, and he's just like, I remember when I used to deal with Yusei. Like, nigga, stop flashing back and duel me. Like, hurry up. Like I said, if you don't got anything, then just admit defeat and quit. But if you do got something, then then show me. All right. Show charge. That's fine. Uh huh. Sure. Sure. Okay. Drop your life points down to 900. I hope you got some big old grand finale play. Let me see this. So you can exceed those two into Castell. Alright, I'll go to 15. If you do any damage to me, I'll go right back up, so. Yeah. I guess this is one of those times that whole cannot be destroyed battle thing is actually not that bad. <laughs> He can't attack me anyway. No. It cuts me in half, but then he can't attack me anyway. It's kind of anticlimactic, don't you think? So, you gotta deal with- you gotta do- you, you have to deal with Terror. Your best choice would maybe be Xing these two into maybe like a- a Castell. Castell would be your best choice right now. Let's see those two into Castell. And, and spin back Terror. That would be your best choice. No, I'll be going for another one of your fucking raid raptor fuckers. That's fine. Yeah. Please hurry up. You're not even doing anything, though. That's my problem right now. You got two tutors on the field. I guess you're going to search and special summon a Blackwing monster? Like, I don't know. Like I said, especially since you can't attack, you need to take care of terror. Like, there is no if and buts about it. You need to take care of terror. You're gonna grab fucking Shura, alright. And the Shura will be able to do anything. Mm hmm. I still don't understand what you're doing. Oh my god. <sighs> Come on, man. Just to give up already. It's like we... She's gonna synchro summon? You can't even conduct your battle phase. I still don't know what you're doing, nor do you have anything to take care of Terra. Alright, you're sinking seven. That's nice. I got can only be used for a synchro summon of a Blackwing monster, right? What are you doing? Fine. Oh my god. Am I the other one who's lost here about what my opponent is doing here? Nah, I ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> Still didn't take care of you, Bell. Just get wiped. Like, come on. Uh. During the end phase, yeah, we'll still go off. We'll still get Pilak. Pinaka. Looks like pinaca, pina colada. You still get the pina colada effect, unless you don't want it. Do you want to get pina colada? I guess not. <laughs> so he has a blizzard in hand. Two sat face downs that I still don't know of in the whirlwind. This duel is going on for a lot longer than it should have. 
especially since he never wants to take care of fucking Yubel. Like, come on, man. This whole of Duel, all you had to do was fucking take care of Yubel, and you haven't, so. Um, I could overextend. Wow. Wow, I'm done. I'm done. That was just. I'm done too, dude. Come on. Come on. The whole entire time. Was 101 scaring you? Was Bill scaring you? They really weren't even a threat. You know what the threat was? That terror. That terror was wick kicking your ass the entire duel and you did nothing about it. You could have exited the castell, spun me back, you know? All the times you could have freaking handled it, but nope. Nope. I don't even know what those last two face downs were. <sighs> Alright, I'm calling an episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed a bad Blackwing player. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Zombie Bicycle. Alright guys, thanks for watching.